Today on the channel, Adventurous Ones, we're going into the galaxy far, far away with the Retro Collection Moff Gideon and two of the mm, Book of Boba Fett characters. So, welcome to the toy review. It's time to get started. Welcome back for another unboxing and review, my adventurous ones. I am your host, as always, the adventurous one himself, master of all the multiverses, Joseph Michaels, the adventurous Joe, at your service. That's right, Dr. Doom. That's right, everyone else. I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, stop that. Either way, <laughs> we're traveling to the galaxy far, far away today and stuff because we're back with the retro collection figures. And this time it's from the Mandalorian ser Series 1 of figures for the Retro Collection, Moff Gideon, and two from the Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett, and Tusken Raider, or Tusken Warrior. I'm not sure which one it goes by exactly, since I don't have its card. <laughs> Either way, there we go. Either way, we're unboxing these guys now. And you can and let you see what they're like. Now, since I already have him in on the card, mint on the card, doing this to the card won't matter much. That's done. Useless paper in the trash can. And as you can see, I did a little cutting on the card there and stuff, but it don't matter because this is coming. This was for out of the box purposes anyway. So, out of the box purposes. <laughs> now, as you can see, Moff Gideon comes with his blaster, the dark saber, and a vinyl like caping that uh, just like uh, Darth Vader came with and stuff. Now the guy, now the actor that plays Moff Gideon is Giancarlo Esposito, which everybody pronounces his name wrong. I don't know why they pronounce his name wrong, but they pronounce his name wrong. Because one guy from, I believe it was um, Screen Rant or another or another one, pronounced his name as Jean, as uh, no Jean Carlo Esposito, and uh, I said that's not how it's said. I says it's Jean Carlo Esposito. One bad thing about this, Dark Saber, it's generic. It don't even look like the Dark Saber. It looks like a plain, it almost looks like a, a, a just a plain samurai sword. It don't look like the Dark Saber. And his blaster, tiny little thing that it is. Let's see if we can get that in his hands. The problem with the retro collection figures, a lot of them don't want to hold their stuff. You can put it in their hands and stuff, and then they don't want to hold on to it. Now I can see why the um they redid uh, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, from the Book of Boba Fett and stuff with the dark saber because it become it's a better looking dark saber. It actually looks like the dark saber. 
this first release, the no, it just looks like a plain samurai sword. Now his limitations on articulation are pretty vague and stuff like that. His arm can go all the way around 360. His head can go all the way around 360. No other articulation than that. He does have the vinyl cape. And his legs can go up about that far. And back down. Uh, articulation is very what you would call limited. Move that aside a bit, so he can. There we go. Now I know they what they were going for here and stuff, but they probably should have just went. And, they probably should have just uh, gave him a cloth-like cape, okay? And instead of the whole vinyl cape thing like Darth Vader, just like they redid. Um. Darth Vader for the Kenobi series uh, retro carded figure, retro collection figures, and he comes with a cloth cape and not the vinyl thing like you're seeing here. Next up, Boba Fett. Now I believe this is from, I, it's from the book of Boba Fett, but it's also from The Mandalorian Season 2. Because this is the Tusken Raider Guard Boba Fett War after he was accepted by the, the Tuscan tribe that he had been a slave to. He comes with a little hoodie. Cloth-like clothing. Which I think is pretty damn good for that one. His leg articulation allows him to go up about that far and just back down. Arm articulation is the same as always. It can go all the way 360. And same thing with the head articulation. Limited to just, you can turn it all the way around. But that's it. No other mm, articulations. And you take this like this. And over the top of him. Just like so. And of course his gaffy stick, which is a weapon of the Tuscan Raider tribes. Which he also uses to take down Cad Bane at the end of Book of Boba Fett. He literally stabs it right into him. I was like, BOOM! Now for the Tuscan Raider, Warrior, Person, whoever. stick. Same like that. Now his hands are modeled just like the, the original Tuscan Tuscan Raider sand people person. So there's no articulation. The hands are not straight. They're like this where he holds the gaffy stick for battle and stuff. Just like that. And once again, head articulation is pretty limited to just all the way 360. Arm articulation can go all the way around and back. Leg articulation can jump about that far and back down. Now these figures sell 
anywhere. It depends on where you find them too. I'll eat right now. I'll eat Ollie's and Ross and uh, other places that are selling them at three dollars and something or whatever does not count because these figures alone, these new ones, the Book of Boba Fett ones, sell anywhere between eleven ninety nine and up, depending on where you find them. Big Bad Toy Store has them for twelve ninety nine a figure, and Hasbro Pulse has them listed at eleven ninety nine a figure. When they were at the store, at places like Walmart or Meyer or um, Target, they sell anywhere between $11.99 normally or $12.99 or $13.99. Yeah, so the question is, what's the value in this? Are they selling because they're, they're retro carded, made to look like the vintage figures, or is it just a, a price hike on a figure that doesn't have much to them and stuff. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Also, Moff Gideon here, he's $3.99 at freaking Ollie's. Some place, and I think it, it, somebody found him at Ross once, and uh, he was only like $1.99 or $2.99. So it's like, yeah, the older figures are showing up at places like Ollie's and stuff. And they're for pretty freaking cheap. But the newer figures there that you can only find at places like Target, Walmart, or something like that, if you can find them, that is, they're all, they're being sold for anywhere between $11.99 and up. So the question is, are they worth that? Believe it or not, in a lot of cases, no, they are not. If you're a collector of vintage of the vintage figures and stuff. Yes, these are perfect for you to grab your get your hands on and stuff and add them to your collection and stuff like that. Especially the retro carding alone makes them like, a, you know, they've seen some wear and tear to their card and stuff like that from sitting around too long or something. That's perfect and all. But if you're looking to get them waiting wait on them and stuff like that to show up at places like Ollie's or Ross or one of them then just do that you know a lot of times these figures are not worth that $12.99 like when I got or $11.99 for that matter like when I got Morgan Elsbeth there from Ahsoka and you saw my review on that with uh, Sabine Wren and Ahsoka from the Ahsoka show Morgan Elsbeth came with nothing came with absolute nothing, just the figure, and she could have had a little extra something added to her to, like, something that gave her that $11.99 price tag and stuff, but I got them from Meyer and they were on, they were on clearance for, uh, six, what was it, no, five dollars each, five bucks each, so, yeah, either way, let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below, and that's it for this review, Adventurous Ones. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss on anything we got going on in 2024. And look out for the 600 subscriber giveaway video. It's up right now and stuff. Get in and on it if you want that Transformer figure that we've got as the prize. Because all you got to do is be publicly subscribed to the channel. You got to be a U.S. YouTuber, so that means you got to be here in the United States. If it's somebody international you want to gift it to later or something like that, that's on you. And in the comment section of the 600 subscriber giveaway video, make sure you put in the hashtag TF1. It can be the, the number one next to the to the letters T and F, TF1, or you can put the how it's printed spelled O N E. Either one counts. I'm counting it either way. So, till the next unboxing, till the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. Never last one of y'all. Safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, your pets, loved ones in general. Be smart. Use this, okay? Be smart. Don't do stupid stuff that's going to get you taken out of this world and away from everyone that loves and cares about you. So until the next time, my adventures.
care. God bless all of you. See you all.